good day for Atcom. Bob Ross and I will be bringing you the third and final installment of the Top Shelf Trilogy. The finale, the 10th episode of the collection series, and uh, that will that will bring an end to, to everything that I have. Uh, it's the cream of the crop, the best of the best, the top shelf of the top shelf, and uh, I've got quite, quite a few goodies here, some, some good stuff to get through. Um, we did the coffee cup of the day, and we make... We don't make mistakes, we make happy accidents. And I'm sure I'll make quite a few in this video. As this is the 113rd take. Um, okay, uh, scent of the day. Scent of the day is a uh, fragrance I've been wearing the hell out of the last couple of weeks. This is Savile Row by Richard and James. Great bottle. Um, a guy named Ryan that has a channel called Bonfire the Vanities. And he turned me on to this. And this is such a good fragrance. This is um, this is a green tea, bergamot, ginger, kind of an opening. Um, and then it has um, a surprising note of tuberose in the mid. Um, along with rose, uh, lavender, lily of the valley. And then in the base it kind of goes into this suede tobacco vetiver um amber a little patchouli um it's almost it's almost like three different fragrances and um but but seamlessly transitioned this is a wonderful fragrance and i'm glad i got turned on to it um yeah so all right i've got i've got quite a few things not as big as some of the other shelves but but what's here is it's good stuff. So um, I think we'll just we'll start off with Amouage, and uh, this one doesn't get a lot of love, but uh, but I like it. It's uh, it's kind of an easy wear. This is Meander. Meander's a, kind of a luxury, creamy kind of gets a little smoke in the base. I, I, I dig it, um, even though it's it's uh, it's not getting a lot of love right now. Um, this one is from an easy wear to a not so easy wear, but I dig it. This is a little on the challenging side, but uh, but it's my kind of challenging. This is Figment Man. I don't know if you can see that, Figment Man. Um, it says earthy notes, but um, but I get a distinct soil note, not not unlike uh, the soil note that you would get in Bat um, from Zoologist. I dig this. It's it's unique. It's off off the beaten track. Um, yeah, I, I I like that Amwash takes chances. Um, that's that's why I gravitated towards the house. This may be one of my one of my favorites. Uh, I would certainly put it near the top. This is Interlude Fifty Three, and um, in my opinion, this is better than the regular Interlude. This is Interlude um, smoothed out enriched if you can imagine that it's um it doesn't it doesn't have the it sits a little closer um obviously it's a higher concentration so it it um doesn't bounce off you like you know like the uh the blue beast um again i think this one's uh better in my opinion uh, i i don't have any experience with black iris so i don't know honestly I'd rank this as the best, but it's the best that I've tried so far. Um, okay, here is another one of my favorites from the house. A lot of these, I mean, just going to stop saying that because Amalish is a favorite house of mine. So if, if it's in my collection, it's it's something I dig. And uh, this is this is a good one. This is Overture. And Overture is a killer. Um, it's just such a good fragrance. I don't really have to tell you much. Um, yeah, it's, it's certainly... Certainly at the top, I would put Interlude 53, that one, and this one for sure. This is Jubilation 25, and this is the uh, this is the non-magnetic cap, and uh, I don't have any reference to the newer one, um, but this one is amazing. It's got 
all of my favorite notes and accords. Um, it, it, between that and Overture, I'd be hard pressed to pick one. Uh, they are just the perfect dressing up, going out on a cooler night kind of a fragrance. Um, uh, two recent pickups, and I think I've shown these before, but uh, they were up on that shelf with the M wash, so I'll show them again. And this is Beach Hut. Uh, Beach Hut's really nice. Um, Beach Hut and and this one, which is also very nice. And this is Bracken Man. I love the artwork on the bottles. It's kind of cool. Um, Beach Hut and Bracken, I'm, I'm still getting to know, but uh, I'm really enjoying them. Classy, gentlemanly fragrances. Um, and uh, this one gets away from gentlemanly a little bit but um but it's a great rose this is lyric man and this is the limited edition bottle with the uh with the crystals you can't beat that with a stick um it's a great line note great sharp spicy rose um however this one it's funny i, I i've heard it talked about and i agree that it seems like I'm was just taking a piss with this lyric man um, and the lyric woman. Uh, this one leans slightly feminine, which I don't mind. I dig it. I rock it. But the homage woman leans slightly masculine. It's uh, yeah, it's it's an odd uh, juxtaposition there. But um, and if you ever get a chance, lyric woman is one of the better roses out there. Um, Speaking of the women's side of Amwash, uh, the women's side of Amwash, as I've discovered in in the past year, have some of the best of Amwash. Um, this is Portrayal Woman, and um, these are some crazy florals. Uh, it's a great bottle too. Um, this I've said it before. I think if you ever get a chance to smell Michael Kors for women. Um, Striking similarities between the florals and that one and this one. It's kind of unique, but this one is Just just a little bit just a little bit classier than than Michael Kors um, Okay, speaking of Michael Kors Here's the the only other Michael Kors that I have from the house and this is Michael and Michael is backwards. There we go uh, This is good this is really good. I put this in kind of in that, in the in the realm of, of uh, Jubilation 25, dark fruits, uh, tobacco, classy, it's really, really, really very nice. Um, okay, this is the only one I have from this line, and I'll tell you what, I'm not upset by it. This is a 2014 bottle of Dior Homme Intense, and this is just a beautiful fragrance. It's perfectly unisex. Um, it smells beautiful. It, it's like it's like one of those perfect fragrances, like um, nothing out of place, uh, class and and luxury all the way. Uh, I really liked your home intense. Um, okay, we have two from the house of. Beaufort, London, and this house is not for the faint of heart. This is Rake and Ruin, and uh, they're um, these are serial killer fragrances. They're uh, they're challenging. They're smoky. They're resinous. They're rich. Um, they uh, the names suit them. Like this one is. <laughs> terror and magnificence like i don't know why but that symbol kind of reminds me of like old london and then terror and magnificence makes me think of like jack the ripper and like this is this is jack the ripper's scent of the day terror and magnificence um but inside of that bold brash craziness of the, the you know the smoky notes um there there is some there's some real art there, and I, and I appreciate it. Um, there are a few others from the house that I wouldn't mind having. Um, and this one is uh, this one is funny that they're right after each other. This one, I think, this is from the house of uh, Mayo Fushini, and this is called Luce or Luce. 
loose I think it's Luce and this is kind of a um, kind of a smoothed out luxury version of, of Beaufort London um, this is a little classier a little bit more um, refined if you will um, uh, and I really like that one uh, Mayofushini has quite a few good fragrances Odor 93 and, and others um, okay this is my mom's favorite fragrance and just about the only one she can tolerate for my whole collection and this is Tuxedo and uh, she's not the only one that likes it this is one of my most complimented fragrances in my whole collection not that I give a damn about that but like it doesn't matter when I wear this or or why it I always get a comment on it um, okay this is I think the only one I have from the whole house I don't know that I have another Prada but man what a great fragrance if you're only gonna have one from the house this is it this is from the desert serenade uh, collection and this is the leather and this is a fantastic leather if you ever come across it um, it's rich it's dense it's um, it's less sweet than than some leathers out there um, I don't think it would go I, I've said savory in the past but I've, I have to I have to refine that thought and I don't think it's savory I think it's just rich and it's got spices in it um, it's just not sweet somewhere in the middle and uh, this is a very good fragrance um, okay let's see what we got here uh, oh okay we got uh, we got two from the house of Tom Ford which I am a huge fan of um, and this is Woodwood Intense and it is intense there's no doubt about that um, I like it it's my kind of intense I like what Tom Ford does I always have I always will um, with the exception of some of that new stuff over the last year or two um, I, I like pretty much everything Tom Ford does and I like stuff he did with other houses too when he was with uh, <coughs> YSL and Gucci um, he's a great creative mind and um, I don't think there's uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with being not being a perfumer, but having the creative genius to push perfumers to do stuff like this. Um, this is Ombre Leather 16. This is another one of those fragrances that it doesn't matter when or where I wear it, how I wear it, with what I wear it. I could wear this to the gym and I get somebody to compliment, uh, to make a comment on it. This is good stuff and maybe heresy to say, but. I like this way more than I like Tuscan leather. Um, I don't rank, I don't rate Tuscan leather at all. Um, yeah, I, I take Ombre Leather 16 10 out of 10 times. Okay, we are off into Raja Dub land, and uh, we'll start with we'll start with this one. This is a very good fragrance, and I was just talking to a friend about it on on Instagram, and this is Reckless. Parfum pour on. and this is a great fragrance. This is the this is one of those, you know, perfectly balanced masculine fragrances. The the only knock against Reckless is that um, it doesn't have legs. It doesn't doesn't give you, you know, like a full wearing. Like I I, I heard it talked about earlier tonight that, you know, about something lasting 10, 12 hours. I don't care if something lasts forever because nine out of ten times I like to wear two fragrances a day, uh, but this one doesn't even get you. It doesn't even get you like three hours, which is like kind of the baseline. Give me three hours. Give me, you know, at least three hours, you know. But, um, I mean, unless you're a freshie like this. Like, this doesn't last all day, but but, but it does last at least three hours. And this is uh, Oceania. It's great citruses. Um, this is a good fragrance. It's a really good fragrance. Um, and I find some similarities to... Um, to Zahara of Citrine, um, a lot of the same citruses, that, that really luxury touch on citrus. Um, okay, we are off into the golf collection. Now I have four of uh, six golf collection uh, 
releases and um, I'll, sh I'll show you the presentation they're all pretty much the same so I'm not going to show you them all but this is I have to look at the bottom because I can never tell there's, there's no name on the label uh, this is Qatar and this is a beauty um, they're all very good um, uh, I've, I've heard I've heard it this collection take a knock that they're too similar to each other I don't know that they're too similar to each other um, I'd, I'd say yeah you know I get the plug and play you take some notes out of the top of one and put them in another and and you know you can mix up a bass and, and kind of using that same jasmine rose structure in the middle I, I get it but they are in the same collection so I don't think that's a knock to call these cousins um, and uh, never mind that they're just very good fragrances um, this one is well this one's a little bit different than than the others um, this is kingdom of Saudi Arabia and um, this one has some of the best fruits everything from bananas to black currant strawberries you name it it's in there um, and uh, this you can see the dent I put in this on it this one's very good and it's um, not generally a, a fruits and sweets guy but um, this one does them in a like a skanky Middle Eastern uh, kind of a luxury way that's uh, it's really appealing in my opinion um, this one is let's see this is um, uh, this is Sultanate of Oman and Sultanate of Oman is very good too love these bottles it's great presentation Sultan of Oman is very good um, last but certainly not least and probably my favorite from from this line that I have let's say that um, this is Kuwait and Kuwait is a killer I think Kuwait's the best of them with the exception now I haven't tried Kingdom of Bahrain which I don't have but I have tried uh, UAE and uh, United Arab Emirates and man oh man that UAE is a killer not easy to find either and uh, however it's I would not mind putting that in the collection at all um, okay so that's the golf collection here is well, this presentation is a little bit different so I'll show you this this is Amber Aoud absolute press use and um, I think I said that right yes amber oud absolute press use and great bottle look at that juice it's like um, it's like motor oil really um, this is one of one of the best ambers one of the best ambers in my collection um, one spray of this two sprays and you're going to be enjoying that until five o'clock the next day um it's a beautiful fragrance really a beautiful fragrance um okay this is exclusive to harrods and this is the parfum pour Homme, and this is a great fragrance um doesn't get a lot of talk doesn't get a lot of love but i dig it it's um class in a bottle class in a bottle I like it um, okay we are getting near the end and I will show you this won't be an easy show but I gotta show it because it's such a great presentation this is Manhattan great presentation um, this is Manhattan this is a this was brought out as a limited edition and then they made more so I'm upset about that um, I think this is a fantastic fragrance this is a fantastic tobacco I've heard this fragrance take some knocks um, the only knock that I'll give this fragrance is that the cap which is supposed to be a friction cap has no friction spin it like a top um, quality control on this for the price that they're charging 
inexcusable in my opinion. However, everything else about this is phenomenal. Um, I break this out once in a while. I don't let this sit just because it's, you know, pricey and I don't want to waste it. I enjoy it. It's it's really very good. And actually, I wore it a couple of times when I first got it, and then I let it sit for six months. And with that air in the bottle, um, made a difference. I came back, and it started to really fill out. It's really started to notice some of the uh, some of the heavier characters in it. Um, okay, let's see. Let's put this bad boy back. Um, and we have one of the for sure crown jewels of the collection let me show you this presentation too as it is worth a show uh, this is Raja this is Raja just called Raja from the Hot Lux collection and uh, this is got the gold flakes in it Purple Cat Gang, Purple Cat Gang. Um, this one takes some heat for the price point, for other reasons that I don't care to get involved with. I think it's a phenomenal fragrance. Full stop. I don't, there are no disclaimers. Um, I don't care who the perfumer is. Uh, I don't care. Uh, you know the the price point talk and the uh, the quality ratio talk is is kind of kind of annoying to me. Um, I I appreciate art and and I think you know what's the value of art to you? You know I don't know that I don't know that uh, you know if if this art which is what fragrance is, in my opinion, wasn't worth what I paid for it. I wouldn't have bought it. Um, you know, who's to say what, what art's worth? I mean, you know, you think into, uh, you know, paintings and, and other forms of art. You know, the, the silly prices that they charge. Like, the art is worth what somebody is willing to pay for it. And, um, you know, if you're not willing to pay for it, if you don't think it's worth it, don't buy it. Um, I think this is fantastic. And who really ever, if you're really deep in the game of fragrance, who ever plays retail? I don't. Um, I don't think I, I, I paid retail a couple of times, but for all this, I didn't pay retail for 80, 85% of the stuff that I had. And this certainly didn't get purchased for the $3,500 it's being asked for. Um, that's crazy. You know, uh, you know, um, so the argument that it's like not worth $3,500, most people that have it didn't pay $3,500, so I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, yeah, about the like what I said about Tom Ford and the, being a creative director, whether Raja's a, a, a perfumer or just a creative director or whatever the case is, these fragrances are good whoever's responsible for it and and I like not to let other things get in the way of me appreciating art um you know what I mean like um why would you do that why would you why would you want to kind of upset the appreciation of art with all of that other ancillary talk so I don't know that's enough of my soapbox I don't even know if I made sense with what I just said um another crown jewel in the collection and this is Boz from Spirit of Dubai. Look at that box. It's just madness. This is not the first time I'm showing this, but uh, it's one of those top shelf fragrances. And um, I figured I'd bring it out for the, for the finale um, if I could get it out. Okay, let's put this over here. This is without a doubt one of my favorite fragrances in my collection um, it is it is a stunner boss look at that the artwork the packaging and the fragrance it's un not unlike Raja there's a laundry list of notes um, 
it's a coffee centric but it, it does so many other things patchouli and amber and resins and man this is a beautiful fragrance i could not be happier to have this in the collection um yeah boss spirit of dubai uh okay that i think wraps up the collection series um we've got one more bonus video of all of the hauls that i've been piling up over the last couple of weeks that um i i kind of been holding off and piling up and saving them you know we'll make it one big mega haul video um which technically are new additions to the collection so it'll be uh collection video bonus um i want to thank you all for all of the the great comments all of the um the love and support all of the um the the new directions to look in the tips the hints the tricks the uh the interaction in, in the comments is what i look forward to so y'all have a great holiday uh have a good night peace